What is going on YouTubers? Jay here from MJ Tech. Today with another Yumi scooter. This one seems to be super powerful. I would call it another flagship from Yumi. It is called the Hawk. Now they have two variants of the Hawk, the Pro and the Standard or the Nun Pro. And they both have different prices. They uh, vary about $400 from each one. So this is the Pro, which is $19.49 and the Nun Pro is about $15.49, give or take. And this one comes with dual 3000 watt motor, so you get a total power of 6000 watts and it has a 35 amp max current controller. This is a 60 volt system, so it has a maximum speed of 50 miles an hour. Now, the Nun Pro has a maximum speed of 43 miles an hour, so there's a little bit of a difference there. The battery on the Pro is a 60 volt, 30 amp hours, able to give you up to 60 miles of range. The Nun Pro has a battery of 60 volts, 22.3 amp hours, able to give you up to 43 miles in range and also the maximum speed of the num pro is 43 miles an hour as well so it comes with nsc response uh cards so that's how you activate the scooter you can also set up a password if you wish to do that it comes with an application now the pro comes with 10 inch by 4.5 inch tires tubeless and the nun pro comes with 10 inch and i believe that they are 3.15 inches and uh, both of them come with hydraulic brakes which are by zoom that's very nice and of course we get the lights the brake lights the turn signals and horn uh, they are rated both of them at IP54 so that means that they can sustain splash and maybe a little bit of rain and one of them weights 77 pounds which is the Nun Pro the Pro model weights 88 pounds and it has they both have a maximum load capacity of 280 pounds total they come with two 2 amp chargers for uh, of course for charging purposes now the decks are a little bit different on each one the pro has almost 10 inch deck which is 240 millimeters and then the nun pro has a 9 inch deck which is 220 millimeters guys so there we go for the specs you can see that they are basically day and night a few moments later the box came in excellent condition all the way around inside we have some heavy foam which keeps everything from damages that's very much appreciated from yumi they took the time to really protect this product and of course we will lift it out take it out of the box just to further inspect it and so far nothing we get a phone holder we get the mirrors a yumi bag the charger you get two of them and the manuals as well this is everything in details keep in mind that inside of the yumi bag we have some more accessories and this is the 4.5 inch tire the width we get zoom brakes on the back and the front as well and this is how everything came wrapped again it looks super great no damages as you guys can observe right here so let's undo all this wrapping and see if we get more accessories we had the kickstand very common for yumi products it works and it is not adjustable so this is the uh, steering bar and this bar came also with a lot of protection and soon we're going to be mounting here the bar so this is the handlebar itself with all of the accessories and so to mount it you simply undo this mount and then tighten it up and it is already adjusted so that's that's very nice and underneath this foam we get the tire inflator but i do have my compressor and we get the steering damper as well now let's undo here the uh, stem and then we had to remove four number four allen uh, screws and then we put them back on together here now we're doing the levers size number four as well and finally adjusting the handlebar make sure that it is properly aligned and these are the mirrors i already hooked up those uh mounting brackets that go in the, on the handlebar itself and now we simply grab a 14 millimeter and tighten up that nut this is for the phone holder very self-explanatory we just mounted the main support to the handlebar and now we're doing the actual phone mount you simply slide it through and this is the final uh, outcome guys it is uh, very similar to other mounts that i've had before but this one actually grips your phone a lot better and it is great so now we're doing the steering damper the steering damper comes with this bracket in which you just have to install these two number four allen bolts 
Now the bracket that you see on the stem neck right there with that black bolt, that already came installed, but according to the manuals, you had to put that together as well. But mine already came on, uh, very nice actually. So make sure that you leave the same gap for each side. As you guys can see here, I left uh, like a nine millimeter gap on each side. And now you remove this uh, number six uh, screw, and this is an Allen screw, and then it comes already pre-installed on the frame, remove it and then put it on the steering damper. And then you do the same thing for the other side on the right, right there. Just install the uh, screw with the nut that comes inside of the bag of the uh, steering damper. And make sure that everything is adjusted. Now here for the, what I call the hydraulic, leave the same space for both sides when the uh, steering is straight. And then tighten up that number four screw and that simply keeps that black part in place and now we are done guys with that little knob you can adjust the how much tension you want for the air just do 42 in the back and then 38 on the front and uh, that's pretty much it i did open the cover and check and see if this was in fact the samson battery 30 amp hours and it seems to be that's what it's labeled for and everything came as described. Great news about this scooter is that Yumi decided to include a whole bunch of spare parts, which is really appreciated inside of this bag in which I already hooked up to the scooter, as you guys can observe. We get some more inner tubes for the tires. Now, I was a little confused at the beginning because I thought that these tires were tubeless, but then we get tubes. That's just a little bit confusing. Um, well, maybe you guys can explain down below, but yes, it came with two tubes. And check this out, guys. We get a spare throttle. Now, this one, I'm not sure uh, how it works. This is kind of positioned weirdly. I think it's maybe backwards, but it came with another uh, throttle, which is great. And we do get a remote. As we know, we can change the colors on the uh, lights, which is super, super cool. I've never seen anything like this before, at least that I've tested. And check this out, guys. We get fuses, we get tools, we get spare screws and more tools here on the back side, guys. And that's uh, just about everything that we have in here. Uh, by the way, it came with the mirror mounts, but we already put them on the handlebar. That's the only thing I didn't show you from this bag. And yeah, it's pretty spacey in there. You can easily fit a bottle of water, maybe a snack. Finally, here we come now to the display to get it started, super simple. Here towards the left side, you have certain controls. You have the mode, the power, and the function key. Then we have the switches. This is for your headlights, your turn signals, and your horn. Now to get it started, press and hold the power key until you're prompted with the screen. And if you guys look at here, you have uh, three different options to unlock it. You can enter the passcode, you can use the NFC tag by simply placing it on top of the display and now we are completely unlocked. Now in the event that you guys are locked, you have one more option and of course that has to do here with the Yumi app. So if we go here, um, you're going to see that this little Bluetooth icon will turn blue in color. You can tap on it and then you can click on your scooter and then it'll connect momentarily. Right here you guys can see that right now we have the uh, scooter connected because the icon turned blue. And from here you can unlock it using the application. You can see uh, more details about your battery percentage. It says that we are at about 92%. You can view a whole bunch of things that the display doesn't give you specifically here with the battery. Then we have things like the maps on here. You guys can set up travels and know where you went and so on and so forth. Uh, you know, it's a really, really cool little app to have. So I would recommend that you guys download it and have it just in case you ever lose your little NFC tag, then you have an option to unlock your scooter. In my case, uh, it came with two of them and I keep one separate in the event that I lose it. With the app aside, we can see that we are giving the trip in miles and you also have the odometer. We have already 33 miles into the odometer. We have used the scooter and it is fantastic. This thing is an absolute blast. We can imagine it goes up to 50 miles an hour. So if we 
press on the mode button this will change the basically the speed so we have mode one two and three then if we quickly press here on the power key this changes your max uh, settings the average settings as well and then if we press and hold the mode and the function key we go into the p settings so we have p01 then we have uh, P02, I think this is for your kilometers and miles. Then we have P03, and all of these uh, P settings are listed in the manual, so they will tell you exactly what they are. And um, I would just leave them alone with the exception that if yours came in kilometers, then you go into P01, and you can change it from kilometers to miles or vice versa okay but again i would just leave it alone you don't want to touch these things a lot of these settings are for like the motor magnets the wheel size so on and so forth guys and uh yeah when it comes to the display that's pretty much it you guys can see that this display is nice and vibrant however guys during the sunlight it does dim a little bit but it is still viewable. That's the great news about it. I love the screen. I mean, I love how they distributed pretty much the entire information in it. It's really easy to read. Uh, I forgot to mention that towards the bottom here, we have the battery indicator, but if you want a more detailed battery information, I will suggest that you guys download the app and you won't be disappointed. And finally here for the switches, we have the headlight. And if you flick it quickly, as you guys can tell here, from the shadow it turns into like a strobe between yellow and white then we have solid white then we get solid yellow then we get yellow and white without the strobe and finally we go back into the strobe which is really neat then you get your uh, turn signals here as well we have left and right and the horn check this out super loud and it sounds like a car you will definitely get the attention you deserve out there guys so i think that with this being said we have pretty much talked about the entire scooter we assembled it now it is time to go for a ride and see what this thing is capable of 24 hours later Alrighty, guys so here we are getting ready to play with the scooter unfortunately my audio was not working with the microphone that i installed inside of my helmet so my uh apologies for that but anyways i forgot to mention that if you press the function button that activates the dual motors and you will you will see a little indicator on the upper right hand side corner of the display so our first speed test will be on single motor and this is speed mode number one and the maximum speed that we got was about 21 miles an hour as you guys can observe but pretty soon we're going to change it into dual motors and right here it is we did about the same so regardless if you have the dual motors on speed mode number one and also speed mode number two you're going to get about the same speed this is dual motors on speed mode number two and this is where things start getting a lot faster and the cool part about this particular scooter is the fact guys that the speedometer came very well calibrated all the way around as you can tell the gps and the speedometer on the scooter are exactly the same and here for the last test about the speed we're going to do speed mode number three on dual motors and i gotta say guys i didn't mean to chicken out here but when you are on the scooter itself and you're doing above 35 miles an hour well things start getting a little bit scary yes they get scary not because the scooter is dangerous this is with any scooter out there keep in mind that you're standing up and you're only holding to a handlebar and that's pretty much it guys so yes it does get a little bit scary but the scooter did do the 48 miles an hour or 49 i believe we're going to be seeing that here in just a second but i just wanted to point out that after 35 miles an hour the mirrors become a little bit useless in my opinion because they shake quite a bunch and the image is not clear on them and they like to move as well the simple fix for this is just buy your own mirrors, motorcycle gray mirrors, and put them on, and you're going to be much better off that way. Also, these uh, street tires are great. They're grippy, but they like to shake. So for this, in order to fix it, you might need to balance your wheels and possibly get better tires. Right here, guys, we are already doing about 44 miles an hour. This is when I lost that... Um, I, I gotta say it's more like breaking the ice type of thing so i felt a little bit more comfortable with the scooter and this is the maximum speed right here guys we did 47 on the gps and 49 on the scooter speedometer which is not disappointing whatsoever this is quite fast and in my opinion guys 
it is as advertised. So the only thing that, again, discomforted me a little bit was the fact that it was shaking. But if you look after going down to 35 miles an hour, it stopped. So it's always happening after 35 miles an hour. And well, this will conclude our speed test. There we go. We did 48 maximum. We can see it on the application itself, guys. Again, I'm very happy about this. We got this thing loaded and ready to go to the park for the hills. And just as a reminder, we have adjustable suspension here on the front. You can see the knob right about there. And we have the same thing here on the rear. So pretty soon we're going to go here into the hill test. And here it is, guys. This is the Dyers Park in West Palm Beach. And I went a little bit off road. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. But just for the sake of the video, I decided to complete this hill test for you guys. And you won't believe that it did it like... I was nothing guys i felt like i was 100 pounds and i'm 220 pounds but this thing is powerful and it is actually something that we can expect from a 60 volt 6000 watt dual motors well that's something that you know i, I wasn't really surprised about I, I was just you know mainly surprised in the sense that this is a different type of grade of scooter that i don't get across very often so here we are doing a downhill test, testing the brakes and the hydraulic brakes are great. These are Zoom uh, or Zoom branded. And this is the off-roading for the Yumi uh, Hawk Pro. And well, it comes with road tires. These are not off-road tires. Can you do a little bit of off-road? Yes, if it's hard gravel like this, you will be fine. But if you're on very soft dirt and you need that gripness on the dirt then this is not going to cut it for you guys it will skid a lot you might lose balance and it can become a little bit dangerous when you don't have that balance you know this is a two-wheel vehicle and you can get hurt guys so just keep that in mind here we are about to do a braking power as we typically do with these scooters and bicycles these are zoom brakes so we can expect good quality from them and it took about 20 25 feet approximately to come to a complete stop but that was going 35 miles an hour well guys unfortunately the rain got the best of me today as you can tell it's about to so we're going to wrap it up here this scooter is phenomenal in every single way guys i can't speak for the durability yet especially of the battery because of the fact that i haven't had it for that long but if you guys want an in-depth review i can provide that at a later time so far this thing is fast it is strong it has all the bells and whistles for a scooter at a very decent price especially knowing that it can do up to 50 miles an hour guys so with this being said let me know what you think down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button comment and share also click on the bell icon so that you don't miss future videos like this and i'll see you on my next one